Communities across Michigan are considering allowing data centers to set up shop, but a recent report shows some of the impacts that these hotly debated centers can have on the power grid. Al Myers is getting answers in Livingston County with a closer look at that study. Energy experts tell me right now Michigan's electrical grid can handle demand, but as more data centers set up shop, we need upgraded transmission and more power to keep the lights on. It's an issue that's likely to be debated by our residents and decision makers for many years and even decades to come. Data centers are often used to store the servers that hold large amounts of data and information. They can utilize large amounts of electrical power too. Celine Township is debating a major data center project just like Livingston County. I can tell you that there is tremendous concern from the community. There is tremendous concern about water use. There is tremendous concern about energy use. There's concern about wells going dry. Here in Livingston County, much of those same concerns exist too. Earlier this month, I told you about how the Howell Township Board approved a six month pause on consideration of what could be one of Michigan's largest data centers on about a thousand acres of land currently owned by the Van Gilder family. The report from the North American Electric Reliability Corporation, also called NERC, finds that across the country, areas with a high number of data centers experience an increased risk of outages, especially during extreme weather. It's not just about building new power plants generation. It's also about building enough transmission and distribution as well. Right now, the report finds that Michigan is not in one of the regions at an increased risk for outages. But Bandick tells me as more data center projects move forward, the grid will need improvements. Our electric liability is one of the worst in the country. Data centers, they require their own distribution networks and in and in many cases requires upgrades to the transmission networks. Getting answers for you in Livingston County. I'm El Myers, CBS News, Detroit.